हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कल्पना यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी लेसन मेड इजी द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज बॉल मिल इट्स प्रिंसिपल कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज अ यूनिट ऑपरेशन द साइज रिडक्शन मैकेनिजम्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स and the factors that affect the choice of size reduction equipment so let's begin today's topic these topics we have already covered like size reduction its definition other names need why do we need it what are the different advantages of size reduction other effects mechanisms of size reduction the factors affecting size reduction especially in terms of the nature of raw material nature of finished product Uh, safety explosivity irritability toxicity economy cost power consumption space occupied labor cost and the classification so moving forward to the next topic that is ball mill so uh, basically what is the principle on which a ball mill works on uh, the basic principle is a combination of impact and attrition impact how because uh, in a cylindrical metal container metallic container there are lots of balls which are uh, placed and then rapidly moved so how that impact is produced uh, the impact between the rapidly moving balls and powder material both enclosed in that hollow cylinder will create impact so uh, how attrition is produced because of the low speed of the balls the balls roll over each other that is why attrition among the balls will produce that attrition effect predominantly the construction it basically uh, consists of a hollow cylinder that may be metallic or chrome lined so as to avoid the corrosion sometimes it may be lined with rubber or porcelain and it is mounted on a metallic frame this hollow cylinder is rotated and the rotation is on the horizontal axis like this right so, uh, it lends slightly more than the diameter the balls usually occupy 30 to 50% of the volume that means if 100 cm cube is the total volume of the cylinder then 30 cm cube to 50 cm cube volume is being occupied by the balls what exactly we choose the size of the balls that we are going to use for uh, ball mill the size depends on what is the size of the feed that we are feeding in which is to be reduced in the size and the diameter of the mill the balls uh, are usually made up of steel iron or stoneware right so this was about the construction basically it is a hollow cylinder which is to be rotated on horizontal axis with slightly more uh, length than the diameter and the balls are occupying 30 to 50% of the volume which are made up of steel iron or stoneware the chrome plating uh, less commonly commonly known as chromium plating is uh, simply a chrome a technique of electroplating a thin layer of chromium onto the metal or plastic object it is decorative it provides corrosion resistance ease of cleaning procedure or increase the surface hardness stoneware is a vitreous or semi vitreous ceramic ware which may is made primarily from non refractory fire clay so how the ball mill works basically uh, the material which is to be ground is up to 60% of the volume it is to be filled inside the metallic cylinder right which is mounted on the shaft to be rotated on the horizontal axis so balls which are to be introduced they are fixed in number and that cylinder is closed the mill is allowed to rotate on its horizontal axis if we uh, why we need this only up to only up to 60% of the volume because if we put inside so much of feed then uh, cushioning effect will take place and the attrition and impact effect will not be up to the mark the same way if too less feed is there then efficacy and wear and tear will take place there the efficacy will be less 
so uh, another more important factor other than the amount of uh, feed is is it speed right so if we uh, move the balls at a very low speed then balls will roll over each other attrition will mainly be done and the small size ball we have to use it is generally used for wet grinding and the surfactants should have to be added so as to prevent the agglomeration in the case of wet grinding if we move the balls at very high speed so what will happen ball will be thrown out of the wall they will simply start on rotating around the periphery of the cylinder so grinding will not occur in this situation and compression against the ball will not be sufficient contrary to both low speed and very high speed if we run the ball mill at a moderate speed centrifugal force just take place and the impact stress will also be induced the size reduction will be more effective in that case next thing is so what are the uses why we are uh, running this ball mill how can we use it it is used for the size reduction of hard and abrasive substances the particle size that will be used is from um, vary from 100 to 5 mm or less that is the final product it is not to be used for tablet tablet granulation uh, it is used for parental and ophthalmic products and in these cases being a closed system it can be used for sterilized product right that is why we are using it for parental and ophthalmic products so in these special cases of parental and ophthalmic products because we need sterilization and should avoid the contamination the stainless steel balls are preferred at low speeds it is uh, used for dyes pigments and insecticide size reduction the advantages that will ball mill offer are number 1 a very fine powder can be obtained out of it number 2 the batch operation as well as continuous operation both can be operated other thing is both wet and dry grinding processes can be achieved next is it is suitable for toxic substances also it is useful for substances which are prone to oxidation right so road mill rod mill is useful for sticky materials not balls we shall use small small cylindrical rods right its installation operation and labor cost are comparatively low so these substances these advantages are offered by ball mill despite these advantages the ball will offer certain limitations or disadvantages like it is quite noisy if we start ball mill inside a lab then lots of noise pollution will be there so uh, that is a major problem which we uh, have to bear if we operate this ball mill second thing is a wear from ball may contaminate the product if something comes out of the balls then that might contaminate your pharmaceutical product which may lead to serious consequences moreover it is a slow process and not useful for soft tacky and fibrous material so these are a few limitations which are associated with the use of ball mill in the next video we shall uh, learn about hammer mill its principle construction how it works what are the advantages and disadvantages associated thank you have a nice day